People who live in the shadow of the Ambassador Bridge are rallying tonight against a city land swap deal with owners. It involves part of Riverside Park as well as St. Anne between Lafayette and Fort. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is in southwest Detroit with their fears. This rally was organized by a number of community groups, including the Hubbard Richard Residents Association, who fear a transfer of some nearby land to the bridge company without conditions in place will be like opening Pandora's box. The noise is incredible. The pounding, the, the banging, the, I mean, it's just terrible. In Irma Saldivar's backyard is the on-ramp for the trucks to get onto the Ambassador Bridge. All that property behind me is the bridge companies. She and a number of other residents living on or near St. Anne Street say the bridge company has not been transparent or fair in their quest to expand operations, beginning with a portion of nearby Riverside Park. They're getting too close. Too close for comfort for me anyhow. Tomorrow, City Council is set to vote on the transfer of land at Riverside Park to the bridge company owned by the Maroon family. And community groups say that should not be allowed to happen until protections are put in place. They fear the bridge company would then seek to close St. Anne Street from Fort to Lafayette and move their wall further into the neighborhood, tearing down homes, and that it wouldn't stop there. They want a second span, and we're hoping that they don't get it. I hope the city council says no, they vote it down. I really do. In a statement to Action News today, Matt Maroon said the city is not giving the bridge anything. A contract was made for the city to exchange the property after we performed our obligations and that the St. Anne Street area is a separate issue that we will be happy to discuss, but it is not reasonable to breach the Riverside Park agreement to gain leverage on a different matter. They want to do the land deal and the land exchange. We're for that. We're supportive. But we just say first agree that you will not seek to expand that wall and seek to displace all the residents along the street. I hope that they just say no. And joining me here at the rally is Council Member Romero. And I'm told that you are a no vote for tomorrow. Tell us why. Yes, I am a no vote for tomorrow's land deal because we are trying to work out a community protection agreement for residents here in Humber Richard and we haven't come to that agreement yet. And that vote is tomorrow morning at City Council. In Southwest Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.